What's good, Jimmy McGill? I'm your guide, Q. Welcome back to Trashy. We haven't done one of these in forever, mostly because the subreddit is now comprised of, like, mostly not safe for work content. But anyway, we found some good ones from the past year, so enjoy. I have no intro for this. I don't know how to describe it. Now, beyond just pure confusion, my only real questions are, who was this targeted at, and what did they do? Because I would be horrendously intimidated if this was sent to me. I'd be locking my doors, I'd be fucking boarding things up, bro. I would not feel safe. Alright, these are some skull seatbelt silencers, and you plug them into your seatbelt plug so that your car doesn't beep at you for not wearing a seatbelt. And I, I really just gotta roast the non-seatbelt wearers out there. Like, who is not wearing a seatbelt enough that they would need to buy this product? The only thing it's good for is when the EMTs find your body in fucking 17 pieces across the highway, just, like, splayed out and shit spilling all over the place. They're, like, checking your car, and they're like, Dude, check out this freaking skull seatbelt silencer. At least he died being rad as fuck. So this is posted by somebody's fucking family member on, like, their public Facebook where they're friends with all their family. My little whore said she wanted Smarties, so I got her the five pound bag. Hopefully she touches my wiener later. And it's like, you know what? This is a fine thought to have. Like, it's not, I'm not trying to police what you're thinking or feeling. But to post it on Facebook, this is like some teenage shit. And that girl looks to be like, I don't know, late 20s probably. It's a little bit too much. I do not know what came before this, but I can't imagine many things that would justify this dude's reaction. I mean, if you're down to act like this, I'm guessing your attitude was pretty bad. And this is dude just like the most based socialist on the planet. He's just like, this business doesn't actually own the items they sell. They belong to all of us. Like what? I don't even know, bro. And I don't know if I'm being like overly empathetic or whatever. Let me know if anybody else got this vibe, but this dude definitely painted himself as a huge piece of shit in this video. But when like the cops show up and he's getting cuffed and he starts to like struggle around and shit, I really started to wonder, is this dude having, like, a severe mental illness episode? Because I feel like most people, once the cops show up, you're like, okay, this is serious, I need to, like, actually work, look out for my safety at this point. And then I see the lol Massachusetts on the fucking police car, and I'm just like, bruh, I'm a New Englander, and once I saw lol, it all started to make sense. So this kind of hits different, I don't know, like, we've seen neckbeard nests, but it's sort of different to get somebody actually living in the environment. Like, you got the ashtray bed, I don't, how do you, like, I am, I've been pretty gross in my day, like, I've made some horrible decisions. Bed ashtray has never been one of them, and like, you got the double power aids, I don't know why that stood out to me, but the double power aids between their legs, and you know, I guess maybe one's for spitting, one's for drinking, I hope you don't mix 
fix those up, that would really be unfortunate, but what is day you don't like look bad like you got a nice i mean they're kind of crinkled but you got a nice pair of khakis and this little baby blue shirt you're doing great other than your entire environment apparently there was a large family at this table and they just left all their fucking fast food trash spills shit on the floor just everywhere in this fucking food court and it's like actually hard for me to believe fucking looking at this like who was the oldest person in this family like 15 years old this seems like something literally only children would do like babies all right, so this is posted by a Walmart employee, and they said, we see stuff like this all the time. I feel like this, there's a message here. Like, what did he mean by this? Like, the drumsticks, under the sandals. Somebody please create a conspiracy around why this was left here like this. Like, this is two arms full of drumsticks brought over to the shoe section and dropped. Why? <laughs> this is the genie that lives in a can of dip, and this guy's got like 17 fucking confederate flags, he's got one on the ceiling, they're like on the walls, and I honestly, guys, fucking hear me, this is like a, a case of awful taste, but great execution, like, I'm not into the messaging, but I could totally see, like, wrapping my bed with a bunch of different sick things, and kind of creating this, like, cocoon where you almost feel like you're in a little box of confederacy but it wouldn't be confederacy it would be something else i like like halo 2. okay so just by the numbers there's got to be a couple really smart people watching this video right now please tell me what this person means some people don't pay their bills they just lick their way through life licky 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 foobar and then it says pay me on the side like is this a prostitution solicitation or a, a person sells the prostitution i do not I'm not sure so this is just a strange video i'm sorry to have to share this with you this couple starts crossing the road and then they see that the traffic is oncoming still so now they're just stuck in a lane of traffic so why not kiss and i'll grab your ass these like it's way too early to be as fucked up as this couple must be to be doing this right now because like if this happened sober i cannot fucking accept that whatsoever this is a video of some motorcyclists being very cool people like cyclers out there that can explain this to me because it's just like i get that motorcyclists they want to like freaking ride together and have like the convoy going or whatever i don't fucking know but you're like literally stopping the function of traffic here and my least favorite part is like you know that they think that they're so fucking cool while they're doing this shit and it just like reminds me of like some little kid that's just like cutting in line and like looking to the other kids and being like look i just cut in front of all of those people aren't i so freaking cool like they take so much pride in this bullshit like fuck this bro Alright, so this person's got one of those, like, fucking anime princess- it's not anime, like, Disney princess profile pictures where they, like, edit your face to look cartoonish, and they disturb me so deeply, because, like, when I'm glancing at them, I see it, and it looks like a real person for a second, and I'm like, no, it's just some fucking uncanny valley type shit. Anyway, completely irrelevant. They say, okay, y'all, I had a mommy moment about a month ago and smashed my son's Xbox. 
love me or hate me for it. The question is, does anyone have one they're willing to sell? Hindsight being 2020 and all, now I feel bad. Help a mama out. So I feel like this is fake. I know I say it with fucking everything, but this one has a specific feel to it. But if it's real, love me or hate me for it. Who's gonna be like applauding this shit? Like, yo, we need more parents destroying hundreds of dollars worth of equipment that has a lot of sentimental value to their child. It's cool. It's great. We want more of it. Uh, this door trash driver might be one of the dumbest people I've seen in a long time. You didn't do a goddamn thing. I just called you. I just screen recorded the whole thing too because I was going to make a complaint. So instead of you bringing me my food or answering the phone, you decided just to keep it and eat it. Give me my food. The one that's open too, I want my drink. I want all that. I did try to look for you. No, you didn't. I, did. I, I screen recorded the whole thing, sir. I have it, me calling you, me texting you. I screenshot it and screen recorded the whole thing. So instead of you coming to bring my food, and I gave you clear directions. I wrote it in English. I wrote it was in it Spanish. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe I should have wrote it in German, too. I wrote it in clear directions. And instead of you responding to any of that, because even if you had an issue, I said I would just meet you in the front. You didn't have to look for me. I said I would meet you right here in the front. So if you wanted food, you was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? You was just there. Why didn't you just order your own food? If that's all it was, then you just wanted the food. I know you don't think I was, but I was walking So why didn't you respond to any of the messages? No, I was, I was overwhelmed by messages. I usually get that many. I was Sadness where I physically just needed to stop. It does continue for a minute longer and she's just like, you didn't even make it out of the complex. Why did you start eating my food? Like I was driving around searching for you and I couldn't see shit. And it's just like, bro, you were overwhelmed by the messages. Maybe you need to like settle down. Don't like eat the food to comfort yourself or whatever. Just like fucking read them and respond to the messages, bro. My other favorite part is he's like constantly trying to like clean her food out of his teeth that he was consuming right before she caught him. It's just fucking rough, dude. Yo, we got a new cringe topi, sad cringe on top. New waifuism dive on the bottom. It's rough. Channel members to the left. I hope everybody's doing a freaking great time right now. Skate on to the best of your abilities. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water, like more than you normally would. Like, not don't go fucking crazy and go nuts with it, but drink a lot of water. Do it. I'll see you soon. Peace out, Cub Scouts.